Hey guys, this is Jimmy. Finally, Intel Nigen Mobile CPU is right at the corner. Well, there are leaks and rumors all over the internet. So, to make it clear, we did some research for you. In today's video, we are going to talk about five things we believe you should know about the Intel Nigen Mobile CPU before you upgrade. Without further ado, let's get started. This video includes i5 9300H, i7 9750H, and i9 9980HK separately. First, let's come to i5 9300H. It's the entry level standard power mobile CPU for thin and light laptops. Here is five things you need to know before you buy. Five, it still features 40 nano process with coffee lake architecture with improvements on power leakage and efficiency. Four, it's still a quad core CPU with hyper threading, same as last gen 8300H. Three, its base clock is 2.4 GHz and boost clock is 4.1 with same 8 MB L3 cache and dual channel support for DDR4. Two, the integrated graphic is still UHD 630. Well, it's capable of AAA titles, but you have to got all the settings low. Last but not the least, the maximum TDP is 45 watts. That's okay for such a low frequency quad core CPU. In summary, we're expecting about 5% performance boost from the i5 9300H compared with last gen 8300H. Next, let's come to the i7 9750H. It's the mainstream mobile CPU for high-performance laptops, for gamers and professionals. Here is five things you need to know before you buy. Five, it still features 40 nano process with coffee lake architecture, with improvements on power leakage and efficiency. Four, this time it becomes an eight-core CPU but no longer support hyper-threading. It adds 30% core but lost the 20% HT gain under heavy load. Totally equals to about 10% gain. 3. Its base clock is lower at 2.0 GHz, but boost clock is a bit higher at 4.5. This time it got 12 MB L3 cache on power with last gen Core i9. 2. The integrated graphic is still UHD 630. Well, it's capable of AAA titles, but you have to got all the settings low. Last but not the least, the maximum TDP is 45 watts. That means the performance release for long-time jobs will be capped because of the thermal and power throttling. Overall, we are expecting 10 to 20% performance boost on multi-core and 10% on single-core compared to last gen 8750H. Finally, we come to the i9-99HK. It's Intel 9 gen top performer for gamers and professionals. Here is five things you need to know before you buy. Five, it still features 40 nano process with coffee lake architecture, with improvements on power leakage and efficiency. Four, this time it's a whopping eight core CPU with hyper threading that result in 50% gain in performance. Now we can have 16 operation cores in laptop. That's totally insane. Three, its base clock is 2.4 and boost clock increased to 5 GHz and all cores can run at 4.2 GHz. This time, it got 30% more L3 cache to 16 MB. 2. The integrated graphic is still UHD 630. Well, it's capable of AAA titles, but you have to got all the settings low. Last, I want to mention, the maximum TDP is increased to 55 watts. That should be helpful for performance release for long-time jobs. We are expecting 25% performance boost on multi-core and 5% on single core compared to last gen model. Finally, should you upgrade? Well, for i5, we don't expect too much performance gain. If you are i7 and i9 user, from a spec leak, we are expecting 10 to 20% performance bump. So definitely wait until the end of April and see what the final spec is and how it performs in professional works. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thumbs if you like it, subscribe our channel, and I'll catch you in the next time.